Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. I'm just a couple of wild and crazy kids in love. The love some Wild Card Wednesdays. It's Wild Card Wednesday. Yeah. And so for this Wild Card Wednesday, we're checking out a bunch of Hotline Miami trailers. Uh, this won our poll. And you can check out our next poll for next week uh, over on our community tab on our channel page. Um, are you ready to do this? I'm ready. Okay. I know nothing about this game. Yep. New franchise for us to check out. Yeah, it's not what I expected. You have one new message. Saturday, 9.22 a.m. Hi, it's Kate from Miami Loves Dating Service. We have set up a date for you this evening. Ooh. She'll be waiting for you at Southwest 53rd Place. As usual, make sure you wear something fancy. Yeah, I'm see Bucky. Oh my god. Okay, what? Ugh. So this is just a game of murder? I guess so. I mean, a lot of games are kind of games of murder, too. It's true. I mean, I suppose in Mario, you often like murder little mushrooms and yeah. turtles and things. Oh, that is... Not what I expected. That is one way to get some attention, I guess. It's an interesting review. Yeah. Stylishly confident. Yeah. Actually, this project is something truly special. I felt playing a video game in a long time. What the hell? Sticky was going to rescue her. I really hope so. Some pretty out there trailers. Unconventional, I should say. Do you like hurting other people? I mean, not in real life. Whoa. We're gonna tell you how to kill people. Was that like, did the guts just explode? Or like, what, what just happened there at I, the end? I don't know. Oh! 
Be laughing, the chicken masters come right at you. No, then I would not be. Interesting tagline. A bit concerning, really. <laughs> This is how we sell this game. You can kill people. <laughs> Do you like hurting people? Then play this game. Don't hurt people. face the beginning of this absolute massacre. I spent a lot of time beating someone with a baseball bat. That's kind of cool. You can create your own scene, your own little level. Challenge yourself. It looked like he was carrying a blow up doll at the end there. It did. Because we saw this one. That's what one's part of reflection. Those were wild. Um, the game, I mean, it knew what it was and it knew how to sell it. Uh, so in that sense, the trailers were very effective. I'm so curious about this. Like the the juxtaposition between the sort of like ultra stylized, old school arcade look of the game mm -hmm. with marketing that seemed very much like 
in line with The Purge or Strangers, like sort Mm. of a too realistic version of violence and mayhem. And yeah, I I don't know. Like, I'm I'm just curious about it. Yeah, I just think it's like clever marketing as far as like an indie game goes, because, I mean, you don't have a ton of of a budget. How are you going to get it out there and uh, grab people's attention? And that first trailer like definitely like grabs your attention. You're like, what the hell is this? Yeah. Based on a true story. And then, I mean, disturbing. But then, like, uh, like thankfully, it had, like, some of the gameplay in there. It's like, no, this is just a game. See, you're just going around. You're, you are this killer. Okay. And then the whole, do you enjoy hurting people? Yeah. Um, I, I don't know what to make of that. Like, part of me is just, like, I feel like there's a danger in marketing something. Like, hey, do you have bloodlust? Yeah. This is what you should play. Now... Transparently, when we watched the Warhammer 40k Space Marines, I was like, yeah, big dude, big gun. This is what you do after a tough day at work. So there, I'm not saying there's not an audience for it, but it just seemed like to really lean into it in a way that I was like, ooh, is that wise? <laughs> I don't know what kind of audience you're going to get. I think it's just uncomfortable because it's like holding up a mirror to you, like, you know, to us as, as gamers, like, do you enjoy hurting people? Like, so, again, like you said, like, I mean, in ter- and, more more 40k, whatever you're battling the tyrannids and stuff like that. But I mean, you know, other games we play like God of War, we're killing people. I mean, again, fantasy is it's different, but um, yeah. yeah like, I mean, because I was thinking, Call I was of like, Duty and- that's what I was thinking. I was like, my brain went to Call of Duty, and I was like, yeah, but like you're on a mission. Like, I, this really seems to be marketed as like just the love of hurting people, which feels. No. Bucky wasn't a fan. <laughs> which mm-hmm. feels a little bit different than like. Hey, it's a war game and you're on a mission. Like yeah. when you sign up for that, you're like, okay, some people are gonna die. It's war. Like we know what that means. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm like, this this just perplexed me. I was not expecting this. Uh don't know what I was expecting. Um, I was expecting some sort of like bloody mess, I guess. I don't know, because I thought Hotline Miami, like it was uh from what I do know of it, like we've seen something from it in like in payday. And it was a chicken mask guy that we've seen like in Payday. We've seen him in uh, the um, Left for Dead uh, story by Lone Wolf or whatever uh, that we mm. checked out as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, he was in there for a little bit. Like he had like the little like recording. Mm, okay. Um, so, but like, yeah, I was just even still, there were parts of this where I was like, it was unsettling. I mean, we did play Saints Row and we both, murdered people in that game you went around bashing people with a giant dildo giant purple dildo uh so that's you know like kind of in line with beating someone up with a baseball bat yeah um you know so like i mean but then my brain my brain still goes to but there was a purpose (laughs) we were on a mission and i think i'm just there's a purpose on there's you don't you know they don't know the story that's it we don't know the mission on this we just the everything in, in this was just very much the the marketing of the violent nature of it versus like the purpose behind yeah. the violence. Yeah. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for a bunch of Hotline Miami trailers, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.